it's Tess here again for an episode of Nailed and this particular design I gotta be really honest I didn't love I had this old nail polish I found in the cupboard that I think I bought in high school and I love the color but it's really old it's really sticky it just never wanted to dry so I got frustrated with it and thought well I give up I'm not gonna be able to leave this on my nails so I might as well do some sort of stamping design take a picture and just take it right off so the color I used is Pure Ice, that brand of course I love, and the color is Frosted Ice Palm Beach. I kind of doubt you can find it again, but you can definitely find dupes in other brands, you know. It's just kind of a purpley, pinky, mauve, shimmery with maybe a green kind of duochrome. It's really pretty, it's really neutral, you know, it's not exactly like a pop of color. But it's good if you are working or something and just need to have something that's you know, mellow, it'd be great for weddings, graduations, whatever. The color I used to stamp is my Conad, and I believe it's the dark blue, or maybe it's the dark purple. Anyway, it's the darker color, as you can see here. It's kind of a navy, navy, purpley, bluey color. <laughs> um, the plate I used was the ever popular M57. And as you can see, my nails are pretty long, so the full stamps don't cover my whole nail. And I was trying to figure out a way that I could still use them and make it look neat. And I was trying to decide to start, if I should start at the tip of my nail and work backwards, or if I should start at the base and work upwards. And I decided to go against my usual thinking and start at the base. So I used my fishnet which is a challenging one to use. Um, if you're a starter, beginner using this, I would say start with light colors like white because it doesn't show the mistakes as much as a dark color like the blue or the black. As you can see in my photos, they're not perfect, but I was working with a really bad base. My nail polish was sticky, it was old, it didn't want to dry, so I was fighting a lot of problems. But I really just wanted to show you the idea of what this look would be rather than the ideal this is what looks fabulous because it, that's not what it is. So I stamped, left some room for the top of my nail to show the tips, kind of like a French tip. And then I used that flower stamp that I love so much in different sizes and stamped along the edge to look like a an edge banding or I don't know what you want to call it, but a transition between the lace and the tip of my nail. I think it turned out really cute. I think this look would be great with say like baby pink and black using the lace, the black as the lace and the flowers. It'd be a really contrasting look. If you wanted to do it the other way around, just do like a clear or a pink on your nail and then do it in white. That'd be really cute for a wedding or something like that. Maybe a baby shower, you know. Not that you're worried about your nails when you're going to a baby shower, but maybe you are. Uh, so I think that that look, um, in theory, works out really great if you have a good base and have picked out some good colors. I really just used the blue so that it would show up on my nail and you guys could kind of see what the design looks like. And I will keep coming up with new looks for you guys and I will see you guys on the next episode of Nailed. Much love. Check.